Hello and welcome to English classes. This is episode number three on tenses. Simple present. We learn simple present. We are learning tenses. We have been learning tenses. We learned simple present in our previous episode. I intentionally made simple sentences, small sentences, rather. <clears throat> Do you go? Do you walk? I walk. Simple sentences we made. Because it is important to learn the structure of the sentence. Then we can make uh, n number of sentences and bigger sentences. We can improvise upon it. Do you walk? We learned in the past, in the previous episode, how to expand the sentence. You have to ask a question to the verb. Do you, uh, do you walk? Ask a question to the verb, how? Do you walk slowly? Ask the question to the verb, when? Do you walk in the morning? Ask where? Do you walk in the park? Ask question to the verb, why? Why do you walk? Why? Do you walk to keep your body fit? We learn to combine all these sentences. Let us make it once again. Do you walk in the park in the morning to keep your body fit? Do you walk slowly in the park in the morning to keep your body fit? Not yes, do that the sentence. For all this basic structure or the simple way of beginning is do you walk i walk make a question to i walk do i walk how do i walk slowly where in the park do i walk slowly in the park when in the morning do i wake do i walk slowly in the park in the morning why to keep my body fit do i walk slowly in the park in the morning to keep my body fit. So you can expand in that way. So we learned these things. We learned to make positive sentences, negative sentences, positive interrogative, negative interrogative. I walk, do I walk? I don't walk, don't I walk? Do I walk, don't I walk? So we learned these basic structures. Today, we learn to make WH questions in a simple present tense. Let us learn through examples. Lata goes to music class by bus in the morning to learn music. We have to make sentences or ask questions to each word in the sentence in order to get it as an answer. That's the reason why I have put every word in a different color and asked a question in the same color related to that word. You can see that on screen. Lata goes to music class by bus in the morning to learn music. Is there an expansion of sentence? Lata goes to music class. Music school. How? By bus. When? In the morning. Why? To learn music. Ask a question to verb. You can expand sentences. Now we have to get Lata as an answer and ask question. Who goes to music class or music school? What is the answer you get? Lata. 
Now we have to ask question for goes. What does Lata do? Lata goes. Ask a question in order to get music class as an answer. Where does Lata go? Lata goes to music class, music school. Every time you ask a question, answer that. Not in short, but in a full sentence. That will be a better practice for you. Where does Lata go? Does use Madhid Mele go use Madhubuk? Matha goes use Madhubuk. Lata goes to music school. Lata goes to music school. By bus, we have to get answer. By bus. How does Lata go to music school? How does Lata go to music school? How does Lata go to is to and the mistake I give you? Go to music music school. How does let me correct it at the same time? How does Lata go to music school? How does Lata go to music school? We have to get in the morning as an answer. When does Lata go to music school? When does Lata go to music school? Then we have to get to learn music. We must ask question, why does Lata go to music school? Why does Lata go to music school? Why does Lata go to music school? So you have to make, you have to frame questions in order to get the desired answer. Lata, to get Lata as, a, as an answer, we said, we asked a question, who goes, what does Lata do to music classes, where, by bus, how, in the morning, when, to learn music, why? Dear students, if you learn to make one question, make answer to it, make possible answers to it, so that you can practice. If you get to ask a question, that's a beautiful thing. If you learn to ask questions, who tells the truth? Frame questions and answer them. The boys tell the truth. The boys tell the truth, not tells. Who tells the truth? The boy tells the truth. Who attends the classes? Who attends the class regularly? Who attends the class regularly? Student, students attend the class regularly. Who blames you? My friend blames me. Answer these questions. Pose questions, answer them, write it in a sentence, in a proper sentence, not in a short form. To practice. Who sweeps the floor? Possible answers. I don't know who sweeps the floor. My brother sweeps the floor. My sister sweeps the floor. Who drives the car? The driver drives the car. I drive the car myself. I don't know who drives the car. I don't know whether who drives the car. Who guides you? My mother guides me. I don't know who guides me. Pause questions. If you get to make one question, make similar questions and answer them. That will be a good practice. So let us see another sentence. Girls sing Hindi songs melodiously. 
in the competition to win the first prize. I have numbered this time. I did not color, but I numbered this time. One girl to sing three Hindi songs, four melodiously, five in kind of competition to win the first prize, sixth one. Each time we ask question, we had to get the desired answer. Who sings Hindi songs? Girls. The girls sing Hindi songs. Sing. What do the girls do? What do the girls sing? What do the girls do? They sing Hindi songs. We have to get Hindi songs as answer. Which song do the girls sing? Hindi songs. The girls sing Hindi songs. How do the girls sing? We get the answer melodiously. The girls sing melodiously. You have to make complete sentence. Don't say just melodiously and keep quiet. Where do the girls sing Hindi songs? Hindi song or Hindi songs melodiously. In the competition. Don't say only in the competition. The girls sing Hindi song melodiously in the competition. Why? To win the prize. Why do the girls sing melodiously? The girls sing the girls sing melodiously in the competition to win the first prize. In the competition between. The girls sing the girls sing melodiously to win the first prize. Take sentences just like that and frame questions at the same time answer them. I'll give you a few more to practice. Ashoka bathes twice a day to keep himself fresh. Himself. That may not be visible to you on your screen. That is himself. Another sentence. Ashoka goes to market with his wife once a week to buy vegetables. Ask questions, different types of questions. One more addition to that is, is, is that with uh, whom does with, uh, with whom does to whom does Agati? To whom does Ashoka go to market? With whom does Ashoka go to market? With his wife. Ashoka goes to market with his wife. Ashoka goes to market with his wife once a week to buy vegetables. To get all these as answers, you have to pose questions. These are the extracts from your workbook. Framing questions, double H type questions. But I will be taking up these things a little later because these are not only in a simple present, but they are in a different tenses. Once we complete all the tenses, we will come back to this and make sentences, frame questions, as to get the underlined words as answers. Once we complete all the tenses, so we shall come back to it and do these exercises. Because these are not only in a simple present. They sang songs to encourage the athletes. So it's in past tense. There is a, one more uh, in the present perfect. So like that, they are in a different tenses. Once we complete all the tenses, we'll come back to these activities. So we learn to make uh, 
sentences or frame questions wh questions in a simple case another way of asking question is question tag the question tag is that you make a statement and you get the desired answers from the person who is listening to you the simple rule for this this is very easy the simple rule for this is with i we you they we you you do with he she it we you it does the question tags are there in any tense all the tenses but we are focusing only here on simple present asking questions or question tags adding question tags to the sentence i go to school every day you want to get the desired answer from the listener sometimes he may not pay attention or he may not answer you force him to answer how do you do you put a small question in the form of a question tag in order to make him speak to you i go to school every day you say this much and the listener is quiet then you ask don't i yes you do we solve the problem don't we with the i we you they we use do don't we you come early don't you they play cricket don't they cats like milk don't they here you can't say don't the cats cats mean they it refers to they so we have to choose they he eats well doesn't he here it is the does with he she it we used rama eats mangoes doesn't she doesn't she rama if you say rama then you must say doesn't he replace the corresponding pronoun to it we don't tell lies do they here you must observe a change what is the change for all these the sentences above we said don't they don't i don't we don't they but now we say do they the reason is that if the statement is positive the question tag is going to be negative is negative if the statement is negative question tag is positive for the statement we also call it the tag question what we add after the comma that is question tag so the tag question here is they don't tell lies is negative that's the reason why question tag is positive i don't go to school do i you don't come early do you just like that if the statement is positive the question tag is negative if the statement is negative question tag is positive you must learn this much so with i we you they we use do with he she it we use does and we must remember to replace the corresponding appropriate pronoun like a cats they rama she rama he so corresponding pronoun has to be changed and we have to use the verb which is there in the statement sentence so these are the things we need to remember in question tags let us see in a brief on passive ones in a simple present this i discussed in detail in the episode of passive ones so i just are giving you a few examples you read the book object becomes subject subject becomes object you know that formula 
to be a form of the verb plus pp past participle form of the verb is used you read the book the book is read by you frame questions in that as well is the book read by you isn't the book read by you what is understood by the children wh questions what is understood by the children the lesson is understood by the children so make interrogative in passive and make a positive passive sentences keep practicing all these things in a simple present so we covered so far in simple present in three episodes to make sentences in simple present make a positive sentences you come early you don't come early do you come early don't you come early we also learn to expand sentences we learn to frame wh questions we learn to frame question tags so we learn to make passive voice sentences in a simple present this is all we learnt in a simple present so far but the thing is you must practice with all the practicing tips i have given to you in our next episode we will take up present continuous tense until then keep practicing bye